Hello and welcome back to A Moment in History. I'm Seth Udinsky. In today's segment, we travel back once again to the mighty Roman Empire, the superpower of the ancient world at the turn of the 4th century AD. Today we will explore the emperor who rejuvenated an empire in decay while also villainously unleashing the most ferocious and focused persecution against Christians in the ancient world, Diocletian. Born as Gaius Aurelius Valerius Diocletianus in 245, Diocletian was a complicated figure. Some saw him as a hero and savior of the empire, returning Rome to the glory it had not seen since the second century, while others knew him as a wicked and vile miscreant, hell-bent on wiping Christianity from the face of the earth. Diocletian was born and raised in relative obscurity, but rose to high ranks in the Roman military sphere. At this point in Rome's history, the empire was too large for one man to rule. Enemies from the outside and chaos from within caused the empire to fall into deep decay, and by the time Diocletian rose to the imperial throne in 285, the empire was on the verge of collapse. Diocletian divided the regions of the empire and put three co-emperors in charge of each region, allowing for a more stable rule. Even as the empire was now governed by four co-emperors, Diocletian claimed his rule was divine, as the original emperors had done, and he was widely regarded as the supreme ruler of the empire. It is no surprise then that Christianity, a faith that claimed Christ, not Caesar, as Lord, caught the eye of the emperor. In the last few years of his reign, he instituted what would be known as the Great Persecution of the Christian Faith. In February of 303, the vindictive emperor destroyed the church building in Nicomedia and wrote numerous laws against the Christian faith, including the prohibition of gathering for church. An estimated 3,500 Christians were murdered for the creed, Christ is Lord, during Diocletian's persecution from 303 to 305. His attempt to eradicate Christianity ultimately failed. The emperor resigned in 305 and was dead within a few years, while the faith he tried to destroy would grow exponentially and would eventually overtake the entire Roman Empire within a century. The words of the ancient church father Tertullian ring true in the legacy of Diocletian the Persecutor. The blood of the martyrs is the seed of the church. Thanks so much for joining me once again for A Moment in History.